Well, today, tobacco companies Philip Morris and Altria are in talks to reunite. The two split years ago, 12 years ago, in 2007. Combined, they'd be worth more than $200 billion. Both are struggling with sinking sales of tobacco as more smokers quit. And, of course, everybody's interested in uh, vaping. Shares in both companies are down. Paula Monica is in New York. First, let's start. Why would the shares be down, uh, Guru La Monica? Yeah, I think a couple of things. I mean, this has been uh, rumored for a couple of days now. So there was some speculation about this. But also, there's a report, uh, CNBC, suggesting that there won't be any merger premium for the deal. So if it's really just a merger of equals, a, a stock swap, then there's not much more money to be made for people buying the stock now. And I think that is why there is concern about that. And that's why the uh, shares are a little bit lower today. And uh, the uh, this deal... They split apart for a reason in 2007. I can't remember what it was, but it must have been a good one, uh, or at least at the time probably thought it was a good one. Does it make sense to put the two back together again? It's going to be interesting to see. I mean, at the time, obviously, uh, Altria was a much bigger conglomerate. It was also spinning off Kraft at the time, which is now part of Kraft Heinz, of course. And there was the rationale that, uh, you know, having Philip Morris and the international business being separate from the uh, slower growth U.S. business might have been good for investors. But now cigarette smoking is obviously on the decline, not just in the U.S., but many other regions around the world. We know what the health risks are. And these companies are going all in on vaping, even though there are are definite legitimate concerns about health risks involving, you know, that product. And, uh, you know, the FDA and others are also worried that maybe vaping is being marketed a little too aggressively to younger consumers as well. So, you know, Altria now has this big stake in Juul Labs, and that's something that I think uh, is going to be very interesting to see how that meshes with ICOS, the uh, Philip Morris International electronic cigarette product, if these two companies merge. And then again, remember, Altria has also got a big stake in Kronos, a Canadian cannabis company. So they are definitely trying to find new areas of growth, be it vaping or marijuana, not traditional tobacco cigarettes.